I'm very interested, of course, in natural hazards, the full suite of hazardous processes that operate on Earth, uh, including earthquakes, tsunamis, landslides, uh, floods. Um, and uh, this research is carried out through a center that we have at Simon Fraser University called the Center for Natural Hazard Research. And what makes this center different from most uh, is that we try to integrate uh, the physical science with uh, issues of risk. And growing up on the West Coast, um, both in California and in British Columbia, uh, earthquakes are uh, kind of a logical area of research for me. And when I was a child, I remember in, in San Diego being terrified by an earthquake, and uh, I think maybe that set the seed for trying to better understand them. And really, uh, part of what I do is to put that uh, that hazard in some sort of uh, context, you know, not to continually hammer away at people that we're going to have earthquakes here, we will, but what is the probability, what is the uh, likely consequences of, of an earthquake that's most likely to affect us in the future. So I try to provide that balance, um, which uh, is a difficult thing because people tend to, without a background or knowledge of anything, can distort their fears and uh, there are a lot of people who either uh, become so petrified by the possibility of earthquake that they almost can't live in this area, or that they um, just ignore the possibility that it can even occur. So they, it's, they kind of take the attitude, well, put my head in the sand and pretend it'll never happen. And both are unreasonable reactions to any sort of hazard. Mm -hmm.